Today I am giving myself the impossible task of designing for myself. I hate designing for myself to be honest with you guys, but I decided to drop some merch on my website and I need some designs to actually print on merch. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through how I design my own merch and um, I'm gonna be going for a black vintage like black t-shirt using Bella Canvas and we are also going to be designing for a hoodie as well. The hoodie I'm gonna try to keep really simple, maybe do a pocket print and then a back print. Yeah, we'll see how that works out, but a uh, shout out to Aplique for making this video possible. They're going to be printing everything for me, so you guys can actually purchase it on my website. And uh, the cool thing about Aplique is they integrate with Shopify, and I use Shopify, so it's kind of a no-brainer for me to open up a merch shop on my website. That's like pretty much the only e-commerce platform I like. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the video. What do you guys say? I wanted to pause for a second because what you're about to watch is me completely failing the first two designs before getting to a design that I like. It's okay if you do something and you're just not happy with it. Um, it's an opportunity to start over again. And honestly, that's how you get better anyway. I wanted you guys to know that so you don't feel bad about yourself if you do something you don't like, okay? It's all part of the process. So with that out of the way, let's continue. All right, so we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna make a 14 inch by 18 inch document. And this will be resized later to fit our design, obviously, depending on how big or small we want it. But uh, for now, 14 by 18 is perfect. And we're gonna go 300 resolution. And then on the background contents, I wanna make sure it is set to black. I'm gonna keep the color mode to RGB because I am going to do a black and white print. I'm not gonna do any color today. I just wanna focus on like a photocopy style design. We're gonna hit okay or create. <laughs> I guess it could be okay, whatever. That, now we're really good. So now I'm gonna use my favorite resource platform, which is Envato Elements. If you guys wanna sign up to Envato Elements, I do have an affiliate link in the description below. You guys don't have to use it, but if you do use it, it helps me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, the idea I had for today's design was to have the skull, and then he's like thinking, so you can see inside of the skull's brain almost, and then there's going to be a computer in there and it's going to say designer on the front of the shirt. We'll see if it pans out today, hopefully it does. Well, I got news for you, Charlie, it didn't pan out. It didn't go good at all. The only thing I need to do now is basically download the PSD version of this so I can get rid of the shadows and then we're gonna open that up into Photoshop and drag it into our canvas. We do not want any of the shadows, so I'm gonna turn those off and that's the amazing thing about Envato Elements 3D section is you can literally download the PSD file, turn off shadows, and do all that good stuff. So now that the shadows are turned off, I'm just gonna drag this into my actual document right here. If you guys want the biggest tip of all, always save your work before you even start designing. It's a good habit to get into. Um, anyway, so Charlie Pangus first design, Bella Canvas. That's my goal here, to print on Bella Canvas and to use a plique, awesome. Great, great people to know, guys. I'm telling you, man. If you're not using Bella Canvas and using a plique on your Shopify stores, you're sleeping. All right, we have a school. Let's go and resize this because this is way too damn small. Boop. Let's make it like that big. What if Photoshop made that sound? Boop. Every time you made a move, I think nobody would be using it, honestly. The whole thing is I want to do like a thought bubble right here. And uh, how do we do that? That's going to be a fun one. All right, so in the middle, we're gonna do some sort of thought bubble, maybe, I don't know. I actually do have an idea for this, so what I wanna do is go grab a lens flare from Google. All right, let's copy this over. Bam, shabam, paste that on top. Let's go ahead and rename the skull layer skull so we know where that is, and then we can name, I cannot talk today. Obviously, I'm not going to keep this as is, so I'm gonna go up to image, and we're going to desaturate it because I am going to add an effect to it. The one thing I wanna do before going into my filter gallery to add that effect is make sure my foreground and background are set properly. Cool, so we're, we're good there. So now let's go up to filter, filter gallery. You guys already know the drill. I use these tools so much. I mean, it, it's literally one of my favorite things to use. I'm probably overdoing these tools, let's just put it that way. I want this to be grainy, so we're gonna let that kind of shine. Maybe up the contrast, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. Inside of that circle, I want the computer to be there to make it look like, obviously, he's thinking about design, right? We need to separate the white from the black, so in, in order to do that, I just need to click on the gray area, basically where nothing is, not the name or the thumbnail. Let's left click on that and you can see that layer styles pop up. So we're gonna focus on blend if, which is all the way at the bottom. And if we drag the black all the way to the right, you can see that it already gets rid of the black background. But what I like to do is feather it a little bit. So if I hold an option on my keyboard, um, I believe it's control on a PC, you can click and drag to the left and this will kind of feather it and separate the arrow into two. 
By separating the arrows, you're basically just creating a smoother separation of the colors and then you can hit OK and then we're left with just the white and then invert it. So now we're just left with the black and that looks way better. And all we have to do is make sure we're selecting the scroll layer, shift command U on our keyboard and that will desaturate it for us which is uh, really nice, right? And then from here, what we can do is go ahead and apply the same filter. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through the rest of the design because I didn't end up using this design anyway, but I will speed through it right now. And then after this, I'm gonna show you guys the final design, the one that I actually went with, and I did record my screen on that one, so I'm going to show you that time lapse as well in this one video. Hope you guys are okay with that. I know it's like a little different than the things that I normally would do, but, um, for this being my own merch, I don't wanna show exactly how I do every single thing because then people are just going to copy me. So I hope you understand, but uh, enjoy this little time lapse. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should we print it? Should we leave it? Leave that all in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys. Also, huge shout out to Bella Canvas and Aplique for making this stuff possible. Now I can actually get this stuff printed. So um, if we do wanna print this, I'll probably send this to Ian at Aplique and we're going to get that situated so you guys can see a physical product, which is going to be really awesome. But um, that's pretty much it for this merch design episode. You guys already know what to do. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Peace.